we've been hearing this week about Jairus and how his daughter was sick. And we said that Jesus was on his way to Jairus's daughter when he was stopped and around a whole bunch of people. And today we're going to find out what he was doing during that time. So we're on uh, lesson 18, talking about a sick woman and reading from Mark chapter five, verses 25 to 28. There was a woman who had had a discharge of blood for 12 years and who had suffered much under many physicians and had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather she grew worse. <clears throat> she had heard the reports about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and just touched his garment. For she said, if I touch even his garments, I will be made well. So this is where Jesus had stopped in the middle of the crowd on his way to visit the, the sick little girl. And it was at that time that he found out that the little girl had died. We already learned about that, but today we're going to talk about this woman who had had a disease for many years, 12 years, the Bible tells us. She had been sick and she had literally gone to doctor after doctor after doctor trying to find the answers to her problems and she had even run out of money. She had been to that many doctors. Now she comes to the real person who could solve her problems. Just like we were talking about Jairus and his daughter and how Jesus brought her back to life again, Jesus knew this woman's problem. And um, she knew that he was the person that she could take her problem to. She had so much faith that she didn't even feel that she needed to go up to him and talk to him. She just knew that all she had to do was just touch, touch his, the hem of his garment and she would be made better if he wanted to do that for her. And I wanna remind us that God does the same thing in our lives. He knows our problem even before we ever take it to him. And we can trust him with all of our problems and we can know that he has an answer for us as well. And we'll find out tomorrow as we have our lesson that Jesus made this woman well just by her touching his garment, but it was because of her faith. And that's what we need to exercise also. We need to exercise our faith in God, knowing that he knows our needs and he will take care of us. And so I want to encourage you this week to think about how you can exercise your faith in God. When you pray about something, how you can trust him to answer you and give you the very best. And now sometimes we don't always get what we want, right? It's not like we're going to Santa and asking for what we want for Christmas. God knows what's best for us even more than we do. And so when we ask him for something, it may be that he chooses to say no to us, or he may choose to say wait to us because he knows what's best for us and he cares about what's very best for us. So let's remember this week, as we bring things to God in prayer, to have faith to know that he will give us what's best for us, okay? Thank you so much. And I'm going to ask if one of you would be willing to pray for us today. Go ahead. Dear God, I pray that you protect this coronavirus away from everybody and they will be healthy, nice, and have, and have no coronavirus. We pray that you take care of all the people in the world and we all love you. Amen.